Here at Precious Bavano, I've been producing unique and bespoke pens in my Cornish workshop for the past five years and continue to do so. More recently, my thoughts have turned to producing something that reflects the wonderful coastline and seas that surround this beautiful county of Cornwall. With this in mind, I've practiced and developed a new skill of bandsaw box making, which allows me to incorporate flowing designs that remind me of the ebb and flow of the tides, the amazing surf, and the creatures that dwell below the surface of the sea. The combinations of locally sourced and beautiful woods make each piece totally unique. The process is somewhat time consuming, but I like to feel that the end results are worth all the time and effort. This video will describe the processes that go into producing a shore break box. The first stage is to select the woods that will complement each other. These are then flattened on the planer so that when glued and clamped there is a perfect match without any gaps. The selected design is then carefully transferred onto the face of the wooden block in a position that will show off the wood grain to its best possible effect. Now the bandsaw is used to cut what will eventually be the back of the box from the wooden block. This is then placed to one side. The shape of the drawers is then cut out. This is where the bandsaw comes into its own, as just about any shape is possible when the correct blade and cutting sequence is chosen. Now the internal form of the box is finished using a combination of bobbin and hand sanding. Not much wood can be removed as this will affect the fit of the drawers. The piece of wood saved for the back of the box is now lightly sanded and then glued and clamped in place. The drawers are then shaped by cutting pieces from the front and back of the drawer blank, then marking the internal shape of the drawers and cutting this out. Again, the bobbin sander is used to smooth the inside of the drawers before the back and front are lightly sanded and glued and clamped back into place. This is where the fun really starts, the shaping of the drawers and the main body of the box. The outside form of each is roughed on the bobbin and belt sanders, then the edge is rounded with a radius router bit. Following this, the edge of the box is formed into the flowing curves that makes each box unique. This is followed by sanding with a profile sander which blends all the curves into the flowing lines that are smooth to the touch and eye. This is a time consuming process, but well worth the effort in the long run. The box and drawers then get their first coat of Danish oil. This is where you see the various wood colours and grains show themselves for the first time. The transformation can be remarkable. I guess this is my favourite stage. Now the drawer handles are cut out on the bandsaw and shaped on the bobbin belt and profile sanders. They are then glued into position on the drawers. More coats of oil are applied and allowed to dry. These are followed by several coats of microcrystalline wax, which is buffed to give a nice hard wearing and aesthetically pleasing finish. The last and finishing touch is to flock the inside of the drawers. This produces a lovely velvet texture and really completes the box. The box is then signed and dated by myself and hopefully it will give pleasure to the buyer and will become a lasting family heirloom. Thank you for watching this short video.